guys and welcome to another first impressions video. Today we're looking at a game that I'm going to mispronounce many many times so I'm going to try and pronounce it as few times as possible. Namely, once. This time. Getsu Fumanden, The Undying Moon is the game that we're playing today. It's by Konami. It is... It's a side-scrolling, beat-em-up, roguelike game. Easiest way I can describe it. You basically go through each level, kill all the enemies, get stronger as you do, and then you lose everything when you go out to start the next stage. The artwork on this game is absolutely phenomenal. It is some of the best artwork I have seen for a long time. It is very much to my style. It looks incredible in game. It looks just as good, if not better. The animation is really smooth. It looks really good. There are a lot of like flashy bits, so do bear that in mind. Like, there's a lot going on on the screen as you do your combos. I will say that the combos themselves are a little bit simplistic, but that's fine. There's plenty of different weapons and stuff that you can get to choose from as subclasses and stuff that work really well. The tutorial is a bit finicky in that it's a case of you walk by it and it tells you how to do something. But the second you walk out of range, it disappears again. It would be probably better if it came up and you had to click off of it. But that's just a personal thing. Settings wise, the settings menu isn't bad, um, but it is better if you use your keyboard to go through them because... Using an analog stick, it's a bit finicky and it can change all your settings without you realizing. It's the issue that I had earlier and so I had to reset all my options again. So it is worth noting that there is no mouse support on this game whatsoever. It just doesn't detect it. And the game is designed around using a controller. So I would 100% recommend that you do that. It makes the game a lot easier to play. So we're going to jump in. And we will see what this game is all about. Here we are. This is the den or the safe space, if you like. And again, just the animation, the, the way that he runs through, the art style, it's all really, really good. It is, it's one of the reasons why I'm really glad that I got to cover this game. Because it was one of the things that I looked at and was like, I want to play this. This is where you can select your difficulty. Um, you can't change your difficulty to higher until you have completed a, a stage, and you can then go back and do it at a higher difficulty. So we've only got the we've only got the uh, the easy stage for now. They've got forging, which I did not know about. And again, like the the tutorials, this part of the tutorial tells you all about it, which is kind of cool. So you can go through and you can make new things. I don't know about what crafting materials you've got or what you get. So I guess you just upgrade it here. Yeah, so it shows you on the right hand side what you've got and on the left hand side what it actually costs to make. And you unlock the skill through playing the game. That's kind of cool. So there's customization on top of customization. Cool. That's that's always good. It's a good way to be. So we've got our little sword. We're going to go through. I will say that the loading times are not bad at all. They don't seem to take that long. And you get a little bit of an insight into the game around. And you know the story, the backstory, the lore. It tells you about different stuff. And then the levels seem fairly simplistic. Again, the movement is not too amazing. You've got... It's fluid, but it's not complicated, right? So you've got your main attack, you've got a double jump, you've got a signature move, and then you've got um, your sub-weapon and your main weapon moves as well. I'm not very good, and once you're in a combo, it's, it's kind of hard to, to get away from it. You take explosion damage and fall damage, and there's... A fair amount of different enemies, which is nice. Like, I am completely okay with that. You've got a slam move as well, which you can use. You've got to dodge out the way. And if you get your combos right and working to how you want them to work. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna require that. 
then you can do some pretty impressive stuff. And like I say, visually it looks very good. You don't seem to take fall damage. Although trying to go through certain things, as you've just seen there, can be a bit finicky. And getting the combos to work can be a bit difficult. So it just feels like you're stamming the, the same same button over and over again. And I'm going to die. So it's quite difficult. Um, you can regain your health with potions. But you only get a certain amount of those. And those big guys hurt a lot. I haven't picked up a sub weapon yet. That's a problem. Yeah. So it's difficult because you take a lot of damage and you don't deal a lot of damage. But I kind of get the feeling that the game was designed about being difficult. So if you like a challenge, this is probably going to be the game for you. I really like this game. I'm going to be no good at it. And I can see me getting very, very, very upset at spaghetti at playing it. But everything about it just screams me. From the rebirth animations, from the, the movement style, from the combat to the art style. This game is absolutely stunning and very, very much worth your time. So there you have it guys, that has been my review. Let me know in the comments down below if you would try this game. Let me know if you have tried this game, how difficulty has been for you. I can see me being on common and difficulty for quite a while. Let me know what you think of the art style and let me know if this is the type of game for you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.